What's going on YouTube? Geosnow right here. So in today's video we're going to discuss about the release of Houdini, which has been released just a couple hours ago by Abraham Masri, and it turned out to be what I expected it to be in my previous video. So um, yeah, this is very important, but um, it's important to understand the limitations of Houdini as well as the feature is. Now, uh, we call it a semi-jailbreak due to the lack of a better term, but it isn't really a fully fledged jailbreak. However, it allows you to install themes, you know, real themes from Cydia and various tweaks to the system and it actually uses a jailbreak exploit to do that. Well, um, it has been released as a beta, some features are not working in the beta, so expect to be updated in uh, time and it's compatible with um, iOS 10.x, you can see here, except iOS 10.3.3. So from iOS 10.0 to 10.3.2, any 64-bit device, that would be iPhone 7 and 7 Plus included, apparently, because it doesn't say in here it's not supported. And apparently it's using the uh, exploit from Jan Beer. Now, if you want to download it, you can download the IPA, and I'm going to show you how you can sideload it, but Abraham Masri has also posted a video Video in which he shows what the tool actually does. So the tool looks like this. When you open it, um, it's going to say escaping sandbox. Unfortunately, I did not have a lot of success with this tool for the moment on my iPhone 5s. It would not uh, be able to escape the sandbox even if I tried like six times uh, in a row. So yeah, you might have a hard time getting this to work sometimes, depending on the device. It even says in there that it will take a couple times, so don't expect it to work from the first time. Keep on trying, uh, you will get exploit failed uh, and you will have to, to restart your phone. Anyways, after you get it working, apparently uh, you're going to see something like this. Let me try to show you. It's fetching packages and then it shows like this. So. Houdini itself is like a package manager, it's like a true CDL alternative for non-jailbroken devices that lets you actually install or get some jailbreak functionality without having a full jailbreak. So pretty much allows the iOS 10.3.1, 10.3, 10.3.2 and 10.2.1 users to have the uh, good experience of a jailbreak or at least partial experience of a jailbreak without a real jailbreak being available. So uh, if you take a look, you can install various packages from various repos, uh, real CDR repos, and uh, once you apply them, I'm going to show you, uh, once you apply them, you're going to be able to have them uh, right away installed. You can customize the passcode uh, and the icons and so on, which is quite dope. So, um, as you can see, this is pretty much the uh, effect of um, Houdini working in the background. You can see that the passcode field has an image now. So, um, it's customized beyond what a normal uh, plus plus application can give you. Uh, and the phone is actually running a theme. So, you can see the icons have been changed. So, yeah, it's pretty interesting. And uh, I find it really interesting, in my opinion, especially since it doesn't use everything a normal jailbreak would use. But it doesn't have the uh, features a normal jailbreak would. So let's see what it contains though. Uh, actually, Abraham Mastery posted on Reddit Jailbreak a uh, full article in here with whatever it contains, what it is, how it works and so on. And uh, he especially made it clear this is not jailbreak, this is not supposed to be a jailbreak, it's not going to be a jailbreak in the future, but it mimics and it gives you some jailbreak uh, features. So let's see what you can do with it. So you can, one, theme user installed apps, which is quite nice, hide re or rename user installed application labels, add CDA sources and install themes, clean all apps cache, change devices display resolution, uh, hide or rename 3D touch icon shortcuts, edit series suggestions list, a theme passcode keypad, iOS 11 style or custom pictures, colorize and resize icon badges, theme control center icons and sliders, and theme lock screen music control icons. Now, about the um, theme control center icons and sliders, he actually did that in the video. If I can uh, find the right spot in here, yes, in here, you can see that he modified the, um, the icons and the um, 
sliders and so on. So yeah, it's really interesting. It's a little bit of customization to the um, iOS system without having to fully jailbreak it. CDI is not included. Houdini is actually the uh, package manager. So um, it's pretty interesting. You can add repos, you can install from them. For example, you can see here, uh, he installs from mode my archive. So it's definitely interesting, but it's still very unstable. I have tried this on my iPhone 5s, as I said initially, and uh, it didn't work. It wouldn't be able to bypass the sandbox, to escape the sandbox, and it would ask me to reboot the device several times. I tried like five or six times, then I simply gave up. But um, yeah, depending on the device, you might have more or less success. However, how you can install it then? Well, after you download the uh, IPA file, you need to download CDA Impactor from the link below. Just connect the um, device and it will show up like this. Drag the IPA and drop it and you will be able to sign it normally as you sign any application. So let me do this. You have to sign in with your iTunes account or Apple ID. Okay. And it's going to be extracted and installed on your device. Now let me go to the device and show you what you will get. Okay, so I'm on the uh, device, this is my 5S, and you can see this is what it installs, it's the Houdini application, and uh, once you open it, it's going to show like this, and you press start. Now I'm running iOS 10.1.1, because that's the only device that I have that is supported. Uh, I have another one that is actually on iOS 10.3.3, but iOS 10.3.3 is not supported as for now. So theoretically, you should press just start in here and it would start saying uh, escaping sandbox now if it fails it's going to tell you on the screen that the exploit has failed and uh, you need to reboot your device and try again now i'm not going to do that right away because it's going to cut out my recording but that's pretty much how you do it and if you get it working you get it working you can start adding tweaks and so on now if i get this to work i will make a uh, an in-depth tutorial on how to install packages and so on with Houdini, but uh, I will probably wait for a much more stable version to come out. And if I was you, I would pretty much stay away from Houdini, at least until it's a little bit more stable. It's not going to mess up anything, but it's still better to wait for, you know, a um, newer version so that everything would work normally. Now it says in here how to start, you press start, how to increase the chances, well it says after reboot, wait for a minute then try, if your device gets hot, let it cool down. Yeah, so pretty much what he means in here is to let the device do its, um, you know, post booting processes um, before you start all this because you have more chances if the device is not doing something right away, right in that moment. So yeah, it will probably help if you close all applications that you have in the background by you know going in the application uh, switcher and closing everything and waiting a couple minutes. Make sure it's not connected to the computer because if it is, it's going to probably try to sync, which means additional demons running in the background and so on. So that would help you increase your chances. But anyways, that's what it does. So yeah, that is Houdini. Uh, well, if you want to try it, you can download it from uh, the website. The link is in the description down below. Keep in mind, it says in here, some features might not work in the beta. So I definitely recommend waiting for a stable release before you try this out, even though it might not just uh, mess up everything. It would be a better idea to wait for a stable release. But yeah, if you want, you can download the beta and try it right away. Here are the instructions on how to install it. And if you want to donate to this uh, to this guy, just go ahead and do it. You have his links or Bitcoin address in here. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. This video has been brought to you by Dr. Phone, a Wondershare product that helps you recover your loss and erase data, transfer data between iOS and Android, repair various system issues, and even backup and erase your device if you want to give it away or to sell it. So check them out in the description down below. You have a free trial available and a $5 coupon if you want to purchase the program. I'm Geosnow, until the next time, do not forget to subscribe to stay updated. Peace out.